The Sketcher workbench is being actively developed. New functionality is being added, and old functionality is being reworked and improved. Sketcher Dimension is a good example of this. It can be called in several ways. It is either the corresponding icon on the toolbar or in the menu called by right-clicking the mouse or using the hotkey D. You can apply the dimension by pre-selecting the geometry or by activating the tool first and then selecting the desired geometry. After selecting the desired geometry by left mouse click you can confirm the selection and then the window of value input will appear. To cancel the selection you need to click the right mouse button. Another important feature of this tool is the ability to change the constraint type depending on the selected geometry. To do this, after activating the tool, press the hotkey M. Now let's see how the dimension tool works depending on the selected geometry. By selecting two segments in the first mode you can set the angle. When you press the hotkey M, the segments become equal. Depending on the cursor position, we can set parallel, horizontal or vertical size. When selecting a point, you can specify the size relative to the origin of the coordinate system. If you select two circles, you can set the distance between them. When you press the hotkey M, the circles have coinciding centers. When you press the hot key again the circles become equal. If the wrong mode is selected, press the M button. The available modes will be switched in order. In the case of a circle, you can switch between radius and diameter. The tool also works with B-spline nodes, as well as other constraints. The old constraint methods have not gone anywhere either. They are available in the appropriate places and via hotkeys.